Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Tammy. Welcome, please stick around and to my returning subscriber friend and everyone out there that you're returning to watch my video. Thank you again so much. Welcome back and I appreciate you guys uh, always com coming back and always, you know, supporting me. I do appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you so much. So today's video is a collaboration that I've been excited to record and all the forces, forces have been like, like, like against me in a way. It's like they've been really working hard because for me to even record this, finally, even today, I'm really hoping the mic that I'm even using is working because my main mic chose to uh, die on me today. But we move, you know? So yeah, um, today's video is a collaboration with Niela Obijiaku. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I'm sorry, my dear, if I didn't, but I did practice. Um, let me know down below if I actually pronounced it okay. I'm so excited to be doing a collaboration with her because she's an awesome YouTuber. You guys need to check her channel out, subscribe to her channel, connect with her. We have similar, um, what do you call it, channel uh, niche. You know, she does makeup, she does lifestyle, she does hauls, she does shopping, she does vlogs, and she is an awesome YouTuber, and I'm really, really excited and so, so happy to be collaborating with her. And the collaboration topic is, as you guys already know, is based on a tag. And I believe I wrote it down because I can't remember everything. It's about the secret life of a YouTuber tag. You guys need to check out her channel, and she's doing similar thing, and find out what her secret life of being a YouTuber is about because I'm gonna share mine and there are 10, is it 10? Let me make sure it's 10. There are 12 questions about being a YouTuber and what we do and I guess the behind the scenes and some things that a lot of people aren't aware of about being a YouTuber is about. So let's get into each question and I'm gonna just be giving you my answers to this tag. So the first question is, how long have you been on YouTube? I've been on YouTube for a year now. However, I've had my YouTube account since maybe 2010, 2009. But yeah, I've been on YouTube for that long, but um, actively started YouTubing at 2019. January 23rd, exactly. That was my first day of uploading a video when I decided to take YouTube full time, seriously. All right, second question. At what point do you think you will stop? Hmm. Maybe if something better comes along, like you know how all these new apps pops up, like TikTok is like the reigning and popular thing right now. Snapchat is, Snapchat is kind of dead, but not really. But you know, if something better comes along, which I doubt will, but then obviously I might. And if, and if it's not, you know, beneficial to me anymore, or it's not helping uh, me improve my creativity, then yeah, I'll probably stop. But right now, I'm loving it, you know, creating, learning, and just growing. And number three says, what's the best thing about YouTube, being a YouTuber? Well, my the ability to do this is the best thing. The ability to create, to think outside the box sometimes, the ability to also be yourself, at least, or at least find yourself, because everyone starting will try to be someone else or try to emulate certain some certain personality but the ability to just be yourself in all your weirdness and in all your coolness next question is what's the worst thing i'm still learning a lot of things but i feel like the top three or top couple of worst things would be being demonetized being hacked or getting all these copyright strikes and oh yeah and all the haters all those comments next question how many thumbnails options do you usually take i usually take up to 10 probably more Definitely more, but up to 10 before I decide on one or two. <laughs> if you're a YouTuber, you know what I mean. <laughs> Next question, YouTuber crush, none. Next question, who is on your collaboration list? Well, I would love to collaborate with anyone that is also in my niche. I'm open to collaborating people, but I don't have like a list of people that I want to collaborate with. If I meet you and we vibe, we're good. We can collaborate and you can reach out to me. I mean, if I've reached out to a couple of people, but those that don't respond, that's okay too, hey, no biggie. But yeah, I don't really have a list, but if anyone wants to collaborate with me, reach out. I have my email in my description box, it's always there, and I'm pretty much glued to my phone, so I'm most likely gonna respond to you as soon as I'm able to. Next one is, what are you wearing on your bottom half? <laughs> you guys always see this part of me all the time. But to tell you the truth, I think 90% of all YouTubers do this, you look good from up here 
<laughs> and then the bottom half look like crap. But me though, I'm always wearing this, even whether I'm refilming or not. Um, it's always a like a velour pant, like a sweat pant. And right now I'm wearing a pink sweat pant. I'm gonna stand up and show you guys. It's always a sweat pant of some sort that I wear. So, what's the next question? How long until you actually click record? Huh. Can I tell you about how long it took me to start to click record for this one? What time is it? Oh, okay, it's 5.30. I've been at this since 3.15. So 3.15, 5.30, about two hours, maybe three, sometimes longer. And I had to fight with my, with my old mic and figure out how to record this video with an old mic. So yeah, it takes quite a while sometimes. And sometimes it's not even about the equipment. Like on a good day, if the equipment is working fine, the makeup is what takes a while. That makes, that delays the time for me to sit in front of the camera and record. Because recording alone, this could take me about 30 minutes tops and I'm done because you've prepared yourself. The recording part is usually easy. The preparation is what takes quite a, lo a long time. Anyways, moving on. How do you feel about the YouTube community or culture? Uh, for me, I really don't know, but the only thing I could take out of this is that um, I've met a lot of people, you know, I've learned a lot from them, and I just hope to continue to meet great people and um, people that you can collaborate with, that you can grow with, that you could just sort of be supportive with, you know? Um, you can even probably become friends with that, a, a, a lot of people. But for me, I'm still very new to this and I'm still learning, but I will say that I've met a lot of supportive people, I've met a lot of genuine people. And then the not so great ones, you just sort of ignore them by blocking them. That's really it. Majority of everyone I've met have been amazing and supportive and just absolutely awesome. What's your secret to a successful YouTube channel? Ain't no secret. I don't have one. <laughs> I have no idea what the secret is, but I just love what I do. I enjoy doing it. And if it takes me somewhere, great. If it doesn't, at least I enjoy it while writing it. 10 seconds later. Okay, let's put it this way. Success as in monetarily, or success as in you enjoying yourself, having a fulfillment in your creativity, having a fulfillment in what you put in your energy into your work and everything you've learned. For me, that's success. But if there's money that comes with it, awesome. But if you're enjoying what you're doing, you're pretty much successful at it. So unless, I mean, like I said, if money-wise, if you're not monetized yet, then I guess for those that define that as success, I would say, you know, I don't know what the secret to that is. Get a, get a couple of viral videos and keep getting the viral videos. And however you can get a viral video, if it's not going to affect your values, your morals, and disgrace your family. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Then do whatever it is that will get you a viral video consistently because one viral video is not going to get you anything or anywhere. It has to be every single time. Lastly, who do you tag? I always tag, I tag a lot of people, but my main three people that I always tag that always stays in my description box or whatever tag section, the tag section is Jackie Aino, um, Patrick Starr and Dima Yume. I don't know why, but I've always tagged those three people in any of my tags, whether it's hair, beauty, makeup, vlog, whatever, they're in my, in my uh, tag section. But there's other people and other things that I also add to it, but those are the top three that I always add to my tags. So that's the, all the questions, and I hope you guys learned something, a thing or two regarding, you know, the secret of YouTuber, uh, being a YouTuber or a small YouTuber or whatever YouTuber you want to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. And also, if you've not subscribed yet, I would really appreciate your support by you subscribing to my channel and also turning on the bell notification to be notified of when next I upload a new video. Thank you all again so much for watching. And please don't forget to check out Niela Obijiaku's channel for her secret life of being a YouTuber. And yes, I'll see you guys in my next video. Always remember to be thankful, and I'll see you next time. Bye. My baby's calling me. Bye.